Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to record your own voiceover from your home studio directly into your laptop using the SL600 Condenser USB Microphone by Editor's Keys. This entire setup that I have here is by Editor's Keys. I have this pop filter that attaches directly to the stand for the microphone and attached to the stand is the Studio Series Portable Vocal Booth Pro which provides a nice little insulation for the sound booth, right? It's like a little miniature sound booth. And so this is a USB microphone, so it connects directly into my laptop, which will enable me to record directly into Premiere Pro, which I'm going to do, or Audition if you prefer that. So um, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you need to do is connect the USB cord that's connecting your mic to your computer to your actual computer. So you need to plug it into the USB port. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go up to Preferences in Premiere Pro and you're going to go to Audio Hardware. This is where you're going to make sure that the default input is set to USB microphone. Then you're going to hit OK. So then, how do I record? What you're going to do is first make a new sequence that you're going to record directly into. So hit new item sequence and I'm just going to do a DSLR 1080p 24 frames per second. So from here this is where you're going to go up here to this panel and select audio track mixer and this is where you can record um, and set your levels for recording and then you're going to hit this R button, which enables the track for recording. So you're gonna hit that R, and you'll notice that up here, it's changed to USB microphone. And this is where you, if I expand this panel here, you can see that this is the master. So you can lower or adjust the levels once you start testing. When I hit record, nothing happens. You also have to press play. And so you'll notice that while it's recording, you don't see anything happening or recording directly into the timeline here in the sequence. It's just sort of this playhead moving. But when you hit stop, you'll see that this audio track was created and it automatically imports into the project panel. This is the audio that we just recorded, which is pretty cool. It's automatically in Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and read this script that I've written to test it with this USB SL600 microphone. I already hit the red button and the play button and it's currently recording my voice into the Premiere Pro timeline. So um, before I get started, since I didn't show you this before, here on the microphone you have a gain control, headphone volume control, um, and a headphone jack, okay? So I already adjusted all of this perfectly to how I want it and I'm going to place the pop filter here. Um, I usually hold my iPad when I'm reading. I have to hold it like this, which is fine for a short amount of time, but after a while, my hands and my arms get kind of tired, so I'm looking at you, Mark, at Editor's Keys to see if you can figure out how I can get a stand where I can place this iPad mini and, and talk at the same time. So. This is a script that I wrote for Editor's Retreat. It's an Editor's Retreat promo video. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Editor's Retreat is a fantastic week of innovative training designed for experienced TV, film, and video editors. It will take place in Nashville, Tennessee from January 18th to 22nd of 2017. Editor's Retreat brings together industry visionaries to discuss the latest technologies, techniques, platforms, and workflows you should be applying to generate cutting-edge work. And you are in for a treat. Keynote speakers include Dan Lebenthal, editor of Iron Man and Thor, as well as Steve Audette, editor of Frontline and Nova editor of Frontline and Nova. You can also apply to present your work to your peers. You can also apply to present your work to your peers. Editor's Retreat is platform agnostic, meaning that it is designed for you to share your work 
on whatever platforms and software you find useful. You are bound to have fun. You are bound to have fun. Plus, all attendees get a gift bag worth thousands of dollars. Apply today and get $100 off your registration code. Whoops. Apply today and get $100 off your registration using promo code GAL17. I look forward to seeing you there. Editor's Retreat. Learn, kick back. Editor's Retreat. Learn, connect, and kick back. I look forward to seeing you there. Editor's Retreat. Learn, connect, and kick back. So that was my first take, and now I'm going to see how it looks in my timeline. All right, it sounds good. And the great thing about recording Premiere Pro is that you can add markers at points where you maybe want to redo it. So I didn't really like the way I said January, so I'm just going to add a marker there by pressing M and making a note to re-record that for later. Another great thing is that it automatically imports into your project panel here and you can rename it. You can check if this take was good and you can write best take. So we're done recording the audio and now we just want to clean it up, right? So with dynamic link, you can actually take this audio clip and edit it in audition. So I'm just going to show you very briefly how to do this. If you control click on the waveform, you can click on edit clip in audition. And there's a bunch of presets that you can use um, with the new essential sound panel, which is really neat. Um, but ironically, because of my deep feminine voice, the balanced male, not the balanced female, the balanced male preset works best for my voice. Or the podcast one. But either way, I thought it was pretty funny when I was trying to edit my voice in the essential sound pa panel by doing an EQ for my voice. So here it is extracted, and what you have to do is open a new multi-track session, and we can call this SL600 test, and let's save it into the SL600 folder. We can call it sound editing. Choose, and then we're gonna hit OK. And then we're gonna pull in this audio extracted file here into the multi-track editor. And this is where you can have the essential panel open. And here is where we want to edit it from the mix type so we can choose dialogue. Now this is where we can choose the preset. So right now it sounds like this. Editor's Retreat is a fantastic week of innovative training designed for experienced TV, film, and video editors. So right now we have Pretty good. Let's try a balanced male voice. And it analyzes the clip. You can adjust the amount of the preset here. If you scroll down, you can see it's just one knob that you're moving. And you can unify loudness. So it creates a loudness, you know, par for the entire track. So you don't have to worry about, you know, one part being louder than the other. Um, under creative, you can add your own room tone if you would like, so you can create a reverb for a warm voice, let's say. So then once you're done, file, export, multi-track mix down, and you can just do selected clips, and you can save it as SL600 test mix, and you want to save it into the same folder, save it into sound editing folder, and let's save it as an AIFF file. Save. Okay. And then it's exporting. Editor's Retreat is a fantastic week of innovative training designed for experienced TV, film, and video editors. So I encourage you to go check out the SL600 at editorskeys.com and let me know if you found this useful. And also, you may notice that I'm wearing my gal t-shirt. I have um, black and white gal t-shirts available at premiergal.com store. 
So if you go there, you can purchase a t-shirt to help support um, Premier Gal. You can also buy keychains as well. So I have two different colored keychains, one that has white with a purple outline, and then a full color one of the full Gal logo. So I appreciate your support in advance. Thanks so much. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye!